Now let's continue on with example 3. Using the Thevenin's theorem, find the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. Find the current through the 5 ohms resistor. So as usual, what we are going to do at first is to remove this 5 ohms resistor, mark the terminals and find VTH. So let's redraw the circuit. So we have the 10 volt voltage source, we have 2 ohms, 2 ohms, 2 ohms, 3 ohms, and then 2 ohms. So this is the VTH, and then we label the terminals AB. Now let's distribute current throughout the circuit. So considering this loop, this 7 volt is going to drive current in this direction that is the clockwise direction through the 2 ohms resistor the 3 ohms resistor and then finally return at the negative terminal of this voltage source now we don't have any current flowing in this direction because we have this to be open circuited so the current that flows through the 2 ohms resistor is the same current that flows through the 3 ohms resistor now let's call the current produced by the 7 volts to be i also, considering this 10 volt source, we are going to consider the conventional flow of current. And then this current is going to move in the anticlockwise direction through these 2 ohms resistor and these 2 ohms resistor. Now let's call the current produced by this 10 volts to be I1. Now what this primarily means is that we have no current flowing through this resistor. Because the current that is produced by the 10 volts will flow through these 2 ohms resistor, through these 2 ohms resistor, and then finally return to the negative terminal of the voltage source. The same happens to the 7 volts. So we have no current flowing through this resistor. So let's say the current here is 0, 0 amps. Now let's find the values of I and then I1. So for I, we have the current I to be equal to the voltage which is 7 divided by 2 plus 3 so 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1.4 therefore we have the current I to be 1.4 amperes so for the value of I1 we have I1 also to be equal to 10 divided by 2 plus 2 and then 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 so we have I1 to be equal to 2.5 amperes now at this point we can find the value of VTH so taking the anticlockwise direction for VTH we have VTH to be equal to the current flowing through the 3 ohms resistor is flowing in the anticlockwise direction in line with the direction we took for VTH. So that becomes positive. So we have 3 times I. We have no current here. We can basically ignore that. And then the current that is flowing through the 2 ohms resistor is also in line with the direction we took. That is the anticlockwise direction. So we have this to be a positive value, so 2 times I1. Now let's find the value of VTH. So we have 3 times I, which is 1.4, plus 2 times I1, which is 2.5. 3 times 1.4 is 4.2, 2 times 2.5 is 5. Therefore, we have VTH to be equal to... 9.2 volts so this is the value of vth now let's find the value of rth we are going to make sure that 
these two voltage sources are short circuited. So we have the two ohms resistor. We have this three ohms resistor. We have these two ohms resistor. And then this is where we are going to look through to find the value of RTH. Now let's find the value of RTH. So clearly, because you can go through this loop without passing through any other circuit element, except these two resistors, it means that they are connected in parallel. The same applies to this set of resistors and their combination is in series with this 2 ohm resistor. So we have the combination in series with this and also in series with that. Therefore, we say that RTH is equal to 2 parallel 3, that is for this set of resistors, plus 2 plus 2 parallel 2. So this becomes 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 times 2 divided by 2 plus 2. 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 2 plus 3 is 5. So 6 divided by 5 is 1.2 plus 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Therefore. 1.2 plus 1 is 2.2 plus 2 is 4.2. So we have RTH to be 4.2, 4.2 ohms. Now let's find the value of the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. So we had VTH to be 9.2 volts. And then we have RTH to be 4.2 ohms. And then we have the load resistor connected in series with RTH. That is the 5 ohms resistor. Now to find the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor, we say that I5 ohm is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So that is 9.2 divided by 4.2 plus 5. So this becomes 9.2 divided by 9.2. And then we have the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor to be 1 ampere. Now let's solve the last example. So to the last example, find the current in the 8 ohms resistor using the Thevenin's theorem. We are going to find the current in this 8 ohm resistor using Thevenin's theorem. Let's solve this together. So the first thing we need to do is to remove this 8 ohms resistor. We label the terminals and find the value of VTH. So let's redraw this circuit. Now for this particular circuit, we have a voltage source and also a current source. Now let's find the value of VTH. Now even before we find the value of VTH, considering this loop, you realize that this 9 amperes current circulates in this loop in the clockwise direction so that we have 9 amperes current flowing through the 10 ohms resistor in this direction. Now let's consider this particular loop. Now the current produced by this voltage source 
flows through the 3 ohms resistor through the 6 ohms resistor and then finally gets to the negative terminal of this voltage source since we have an open circuit here no current is going to flow in this direction now let the current produced by this voltage source be i then we want to find the value of i and then find the value of vth so to find the value of i we have i equals 45 divided by 3 plus 6 and that is 9 so we have i to be equal to 5 amperes so this is the value of i now considering this loop and then moving in the anticlockwise direction we can find the value of vth so we have vth to be equal to 10 times 9 because we have the 9 amperes current moving in the direction to what we took so we have 10 times 9 minus because we are moving in the anticlockwise direction and that opposes the flow of current in the 6 ohms resistor so that becomes negative 6 times the value of i which is 5 amperes therefore we have vth equals 90 minus 30 and this is equal to 60 volts therefore vth is equal to 60 volts now let's find the value of rth so from this circuit we are going to open circuit the current source and then short circuit the voltage source So we have this to be the 3 ohms resistor, 6 ohms resistor, and then the 10 ohms resistor. Now since we can go through this loop without passing through any other circuit elements except these two resistors, then it means that they are connected in parallel, and their equivalent is in series with the 10 ohm resistor. Therefore we have RTH to be equal to 10 plus 6 parallel 3 so that is equal to 10 plus 6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3 now 6 times 3 is 18 6 plus 3 is 9 18 divided by 9 is 2 therefore we have 10 plus 2 which is 12 so we have rth to be 12 ohms now let's draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit so we have VTH to be 60 volts, we have RTH to be 12 ohms, and then we have the load resistor RL to be 8 ohms. So to find the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor, that is going to be VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So we have 60 divided by 20, and that is equal to 3 amperes. Therefore, the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor is 3 amperes. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.